Hi everybody, my name's Julia from Bobbins and Buttons and this is officially my first real video in my new studio, so I'm very excited. So I thought today um, I would talk through some of my patterns and explain the details. So I've pulled out four little girls' dresses. Um, firstly because summer's on its way um, and all of these styles are really great for summer. Secondly, I've had a whole new range of gorgeous Macawa fabrics come into stock, all of which are really great for these styles. And then lastly, um, I know that there's been lots of people trying sewing for the first time through lockdown, and all of these styles are really great for beginners. So first up is the rosy pinafore dress. So this is actually the first pattern that I published, um, and it's one that I used to run as a sewing class as well. So it's a really simple, classic little A-line pinafore dress that's fastened at the shoulders with two buttons, so there's no zips. And the pattern features a single-sided version, so that's got the neck facing, or this reversible version, which has a, a staggered hem. So it's a, a versatile dress. Through the winter months you could make it in corduroy or denim, and layer it up with a little t-shirt underneath and then in the summer months it can be worn without a top underneath made in just a single layer of craft weight cotton for a lighter weight dress or for something a bit more substantial you could make the reversible um, dress. So the one um, detail that I do want to point out on this dress is the staggered hem and the reason for that is that if you were making a reversible dress and trying to match your hems up exactly, it would be almost impossible. So rather than trying to do that, I thought let's make a feature and have this border. So the border just shows on one side, um, but it does mean that the hem has um, a facing. So I do have extra tutorials for how to do quite a few of the elements on this dress um, on my YouTube channel including the hem but let me just flip it round and show you what it looks like um, the other side because it, it's just staggered hem showing on, only on one side so the age range with this dress is from one year to ten years and like I say it's really great opportunity to play around with mixing some prints um, by doing the reversible version. There we go. So I just quickly wanted to show you a couple of options on fabrics. Um, like I said this beautiful range from the cow has just come in and I think these cats would just be so fun for a reversible rosy dress. So this is just full of lovely colours. So there's um, a couple of different cat prints, so you could actually put them together in one reversible dress. Um, but I also have some coordinates, and I quite like this polka dot. I think that would look really nice as a planar side, and then maybe the cat's on the opposite side. So the plain side you could probably team up um, with a patterned t-shirt for some different options. And then there's also the, the painted stripe, which again <coughs> would work really nicely with the cat print, it would be quite fun. So the last thing that I wanted to mention about Rosie is that I have got a couple of different hacks on my blog. So I often um, try different ideas and post them on my blog um, for all the different patterns. So it's worth checking there if you're looking for something um, some, some new ideas for your patterns. So next up is another classic little girl's dress. So this one's called Dorothy and Dorothy is um, another one of my earlier patterns and again really classic. So you've got um, a lined fitted bodice and a gathered skirt and the dress is finished with a sash and um, it ties at the back of a nice bow. This one does have a zip at the back, but other than that, if you're okay with zips, it's a really simple, straightforward little dress. And again, this is really, really versatile, so it makes a lovely little girl's summer dress. But I've used the pattern over the years for my little girl um, 
In fact, I think the last one I made her was when she was about eight. Um, and it's been her party themed. So we've, we found fabrics in her party theme for each of her birthdays. And, and she's had a special birthday dress. Um, I also know it's been used for uh, weddings. So for, for bridesmaids dresses, it's quite nice for that. Um, so the size range on the Dorothy is from one years to 12 years, so a little bit of a, a higher age range on that one. So I'll just show you a couple of options I think would be great for the Dorothy dress in the new fabrics from the Cowler. Um, this border print I just think would be so stunning along the edge of the skirt, and maybe mixed with something like the, the polka dot for the sash. So I had a similar print in from their range last year and I did actually see it made up um, and it does look really beautiful with a contrast sash. Um, the one thing I would say about the Dorothy dress though is the, the skirt shape is actually curved so if you are going to do a border print with the Dorothy dress I have done a tutorial on my blog just to show how to cut the skirt so that you don't um, get a curve um, so you can keep the, the border nice and straight basically. And there are some other blog posts um, and tutorials around this. There's uh, how to cut a circular skirt to, to go onto the bodice if you want a really sort of party dress and wear some tulle skirts under it, give it a real 50s kind of um, look. That's all on my blog as well. So next up I've got um, Lilia Ray. So Lilia Ray is a loose fitting smock style dress. Um, so it has a flutter sleeve and a gathered neck and the gathered neck's actually elasticated so it makes it really nice and easy fitting. And the pattern comes with two different options on length so you can do the dress length or you can do a, a sort of tunic top length so it's quite nice for younger um, babies and toddlers to have the dress and then for older girls wearing it with leggings um, or shorts, wearing the tunic top version. Um, it's obviously quite a summery style, but again, it could be layered up with thick tights and a cardigan for the cooler months, depending on what print you used. Um, so the pattern size range on this one is three months to 10 years. So there's quite a good size range on that. So my fabric choices for this, I think these really cute conversational prints work really nicely for Lilia Ray so I think that would be so sweet um, for a little Lilia Ray dress but also for slightly older girls I think something simple like the polka dots works really nicely with jeans or leggings um, or shorts for the summer for the beach so lastly, I've got the Alice pattern, which is one of my latest patterns. Um, there's quite a few versions on this. You've got the dress, which has pockets cut into the seam line, and then you can make that with or without sleeves. And then there's a top with a little keyhole neckline at the back, and that can be with or without sleeves. And then you can, of course, make both with or without the um, ruffles. So if you wanted a simple little shift dress or shell top, you could just omit the ruffles and keep it um, quite simple if, if um, your little girl isn't into uh, frills. So the size range on um, this pattern is 12 months to 13 years and again it's a really versatile with lots of different fabric options. I've made it in double gauze um, for the photo shoot so I made both the top and um, the dress in double gauze and they both worked really nicely. But if, you're, if you like crisp, nice, strong fr frills, then um, the, the craft weight cotton is absolutely perfect. So just as a couple of options on, on that again from the new range, I think the conversational prints would work quite nicely. Um, potentially even mixed with um, something like the polka dot. But I think something simple, because there's quite a bit of detail on this, something simple like the polka dot would work really nicely as the dress or the top version of Alice. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the patterns. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. 
and um, if you'd like to see more videos please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you again soon.